Hey guys, Sonic Eggman here reviewing Frogger on the Atari 2600. The first question you've got to ask yourself when you play this game is, are the cars and trucks very slow or are you a super fast tree frog? The max movement speed for a green tree frog is 17 k's per hour, that's 10 miles per hour for our friends across the pond, which means the poor motorists are driving down what might be the slowest highway in the world. Just think of the poor truck drivers driving from stop to stop at 20 k's an hour only to get mocked by wild tree frogs jumping about what is effectively their workplace. I'd go so far as to say I hate frogs, and furthermore, if you're a good person, you should too. Sorry, I, I, I lost the plot there a bit. Back to the review. Um, Frogger was first released in the arcades back in 1981 and was ported to the Atari 2600 in the same year. The objective of the game is to get a series of frogs across the main road and then across a stream to go to bed or something, I guess. Besides the cars and trucks with the frustrated drivers, you have to avoid snakes and alligators. Also water, also jumping into a home with another frog, also when a turtle goes underwater, and like all us mortals, time itself, if you allow it to run out, can kill you. Grim stuff, really. The controls on this one are just like the arcade, but I have strong memories of almost snapping my Atari controller trying to quickly move out of danger. The fact you only need to move making the button useless is a great example of how well this game is designed. They sure don't make them like they used to. Speaking of which, do you remember the Seinfeld episode where George put a high score on the arcade version of Frogger? I've been preparing for this moment my entire life. <laughs> Looks like a frog. I don't, I don't have anything to add. I, I just I just really like that episode. Something I only realized recently, the other frog that sometimes appears on the middle log is referred to as Lady Frog. On the back cover of the game pack, the instructions read, When you see her, help her home. If you do, you'll earn bonus points. Frogger, you old hornbag. Frogger was so universally loved it had over 30 sequels across multiple platforms. It's a great example of how a simple, well-designed game beats flashy graphics every day of the week. The sound in this game is actually pretty decent, featuring a jingle before every level that also plays when you complete a level. Embarrassingly, I died so many times playing this that whenever the song sounded, I did a little dance. Death-defying frogs really get me excited. Give it a listen and try not to boogie. Apparently the story behind Frogger was one of the people involved was sitting in traffic and saw a frog trying to cross the road. He helped the frog across the road and was so inspired by the little green traffic dodger that he made a video game about it. It was originally going to be called Highway Crossing Frog, but Sega didn't think the name captured the true nature of the game, so they changed it to Frogger. I would have personally called the game Mr. Zippy's Laser Quest, but I guess that's why I don't work in video games. I definitely have fond memories of this one from growing up, and although it doesn't look like much, that tiny frog is probably one of the more important figures in video game history. That, my friends, was Frogger on the Atari 2600. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit like and subscribe at the bottom, and if there's a game you'd like to see me review, leave it in the comment section below. Sonic Eggman out.